Almost 25 years, CBS broadcast a show live every Sunday night that showcased the greatest talents in television history. It was the one, the only, Ed Sullivan Show. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight, live from New York, the Ed Sullivan Show. When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's amore. Ah, uh, Vinyl Community, how you doing? Um, in between some errands here and doing some things, um, I was supposed to go to a record show uh, today with Anthony Gambore one too, but I was going to you know, domestically. There was some things that we were doing today and, uh, weekend. So I'm just showing up and stuff and taking a break and make this video. So anyway, yeah, the things you think about, um, like Chris Profi must just think about all the um, things for friends. Hey everybody, today we are jumping on a thread. This one was started by Mike over at MGK Boston, and it's called a 10 Guys in Suits and Ties video. And everybody so far, at least that I've watched who's made a video, has definitely played the part. They've gone full in on the video, and so James and I decided we would as well. So we're going to show 10 records that feature guys in suits and ties. First one we're going to show is Seven and the yes. Ragged Tiger by... Who's this by? Who's this? And this by... And this by... And... The way, the when, Duran Duran, my favorite Duran Duran album has hits like the Reflex, New Moon on Monday, Union of the Snake. But my favorite songs on here are the deeper tracks, like I'm looking for cracks on the pavement of Crime and Passion, Shadows on Your Side. The instrumental Tiger Tiger is great, also. Next one, the Moody Blues and their debut album. This is the American release on the London record label, just called Go Now because of the hit. This is when they had the late Denny Lane, who would also be in the band Wings as their lead singer. Yeah. He's only with the band for one album, but sounds very different from the Moody Blues that you're probably used to. A little more of that mid-60s, oh, yeah. kind of soulful R&B uh, that the Moody Blues and other bands were <laughs> doing at the time. Next one is The Kinks, Kind of Kinks. Ray Davies coming into full flower as a songwriter. This one has nothing in the world can stop me worrying about that girl, which is really almost like a bit of acoustic folk rock. Tired of waiting for you. One of my favorite King song, their cover of dancing in the street. So many of these British bands were doing covers of that. The who covered it on their BBC session. Uh, I forget who else, but it was a song that uh, many Bands were covering something better. Beginning is on here, uh, but not their strongest early album, but still an enjoyable one. Nonetheless, they were diversifying their sound. Elvis Costello, My Aim is True. Got a little bit of a hype and then another hype back here. This was his first album before. He hooked up with the attractions, but it's definitely in that punk vein. Welcome to the Working Week kicks things off, but it's also got Allison, one of his most enduring ballads yes. on here, watching The Detectives, which is a bit of ska. Um, the Angels Want to Wear My Red Shoes. So many, this has got so many songs on it for a single debut album, and they're all great. Mystery Dance is great. I love Less Than Zero. I'm Not Angry is pure power punk. Love that one. This is an album I've showed before, but just because it fits I with the theme. Them. Look, they look like you. Me. Don't they look like you? Maybe. Maybe. The Turtles and their concept album. The Turtles present 
the Battle of the Bands. This is such a fun record. They take on all these different personas. They do all these different styles of music, from they, surf they, they, music they, they, to they, 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 acid they, they, rock. They, 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 they tackle all kinds of they, cool they, they, genres. They, country they, rock they, they, on here. They, they, it's a fun they, they, one they, they, to they, spin. They, 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 and the whole con the concept runs all the way through. But it just shows how talented the Turtles were. And they're having fun with it. It's a spoof on different genres. Uh, but I love that one. This has got Eleanor on it, which is probably, if you've heard any song up here, it would probably be that one. <laughs> What's this one called? Uh, this card is The Game of Love. The Game of Love. Wayne Fontana and the Mindbenders. Game of Love, obviously, was the big hit off of here. And Wayne Fontana, I didn't realize they were a UK group, but they were. Uh, Wayne Fontana uh, was a rising star, but I don't know that they did anything uh, beyond this. But this has got, again, kind of like that moody blue, sort of like a lot of R&B soul cover, American covers on here. Uh, I don't think there's any originals. They do Keep Your Hands Off My Baby, which a lot of uh, bands covered. But Girl Can't Help It, they do. So pretty cool mid-60s uh, bit of British pop there. Speaking of Elvis Costello, oh, yeah. speaking of Elvis Costello, he produced the specials debut album. I don't know if this is necessarily the birth of Ska. But they were doing kind of the same kinds of, they, they were in the same boat as like the English beat, uh, some of the stuff that the police were doing in the late 70s. But this is such a cool album. I love this. Uh, this has got so many classics on it. I love um, Message to Rudy is very, what? Okay. Okay. Nightclub is on here. Great, great classic from 1979. They were a very short-lived band, as were the English Beat. But what an impact they made during their short lifespan. Going to go into a little synth pop here with the pre Pleasure Principal, Gary Newman. I love this record. This has cars on it, of course, but it's very much innovative. This was late 70s. This made it onto some of the rock stations back in the day. This was definitely a crossover, probably a surprise synth pop hit. But if you like cars, You'll like the rest of this album. Very much early, early synth pop that would go on yeah. to influence like the OMD and yeah. the Human League and the Depeche Mode. What? You know, no. this guy is look like me. He looks like you? Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. You think so? Yeah. Yeah, all right. I'll mm. buy it for a dollar. And the last one. Uh -oh, what? No, we got two more. Sorry. Who's this? No, this is... Something, something. No, no, the Beatles. The Beatles. Do we like the Beatles? Yes. We like the Beatles. This, of course, was a capital U.S. release. And it was to capitalize on the United Artists. Their movie soundtrack, A Hard Day's Night. You've got some of the songs on here that would appear on A Hard Day's Night. Like That's Tommy my favorite. Wine. Yeah, tell me why. And I love her. I'm happy just to dance with you if I fell. It has a German version of I Want to Hold Your Hand on here. And it's got songs from That's my the, favorite. It's got songs from the British Long Tall Sally EP <laughs> as well with Slow Down and Matchbox. Uh, Things We Said Today, which was on side two of A Hard Day's Night. Very cool collection. And I love that shot from the Ed Sullivan Show. <laughs> and the last one, saving arguably one of the best for last, yeah. the Rolling Stones, 12 by favorite. 5. Does he look like me? Does this guy look like me? Yeah. Brian Jones. Yeah, 12 by 5. The Rolling Stones, their second American <laughs> album. Love this oh, one. It's got It's All Over Now on here. Uh, what else? Okay. Susie Q, which the Creed and Clearwater Revival, they would cover that. Chuck Berry covers with Around oh, and Around. Guys. Time is on my side. Another classic <laughs> Rolling Stones hit, but love that one. So anyway, that is our entry or our video for Mike's thread. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Jump on the thread if you have a YouTube channel. Hey, hey. It's my... It, 
Let me know. Well, this. say goodbye then. Goodbye. All right. Take care, everybody. Yeah, take care.